Convincing glass in dreams? That's impossible. No, not really. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Stick around until the end of the video where I show you how to make the rain effect. First off, let's open up paint mode. Choose the opaque square flick type. This will give us a very smooth surface. One that will very soon be a lot more interesting to look at thanks to the power of the new sticker feature in Dreams. Now go to Guides and enable Grid Snapping. Go to Tools and notice how we have different drawing modes for our paint tool. The one we need is called Stamp Fleck and that will just stamp in a single fleck at full opacity. Now open up the paint stroke properties and go into the tab called Fleck Properties. In here you can stretch your fleck to fit the window frame perfectly. You might need to go in and scale the fleck up or down as well, if the width doesn't match. Alright, so far this doesn't look like window glass at all. I think it's time for a bit of dreams magic, don't you? Go into Movers and Output. Grab the Text Displayer gadget and stamp it into your scene. Alright, so next up let's group the window glass and the text displayer to make sure that the effect that we'll be applying only works on the window glass. Open up the text displayer properties and go into the settings tab. Enable in scene and enable sticker mode. This will allow you to blast the content of the text displayer onto any surface in Dreams. Notice how the effect is applied on a group basis. Turn off the shadow and the stroke around your text gadget. By the way, notice how the sticker gadget has a depth slider that allows you to control the depth at which the sticker is applied. Alright, so let's see if we can start to make this look a little bit more like glass. Start by changing the color of the text box. Let's go for a dark color. But hey, what's that? Did you notice how the text box disappeared as I closed the text displayer properties? This is because the text displayer needs to have some text in it to show up. Turns out that it's enough to just open the text input field and hit done without actually inputting any text. Open up the text displayer properties again. Go in under text box properties to turn off auto fit. This will enable you to freely scale the text box without having any text in the gadget. And now it's time for the fun part of this process. Let's add some texture. Select the painterly texture type. Tweak the strength of the effect. Change the size. And select a fitting texture type. You can tweak the size even more by scaling the text gadget up or down. Head back into the text box properties and change the opacity of the effect. Now that the texture looks alright, it's time to tweak the window itself. You do this by going into the coat properties of the painting. In here you can change the shininess, the roughness and the metalness of your object. You can also tweak the opacity. As you can see, it's starting to look a lot more like glass now. Do some final tweaking and experiment with the various settings of the text gadget. Now we are pretty much done with the glass itself. I think this looks pretty good for a program that doesn't do glass, don't you? Let's add the rain effect now. Open up paint mode. And select the heavy fleck type. Open up the tools menu and make sure that brush flex is selected. Enable surface snapping on the guides. Now use the wall or any flat surface as a guide for your painting. Imagine you're tracing raindrops as they slide down the window glass. Open the paint stroke properties and then enable precise move on the guides. Move the raindrops into place 
behind the glass and scale it up to cover the whole window. Change the painting to a dark color. Turn up the playback speed. Enable pulse. And there we go, our effect is done. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and hit that notification bell to never miss an update.